ABU Robocon, in which university students from Asia Pacific countries and regions compete their ideas and technology of robots. It is an annual festival of young engineers. This year's contest was hosted by China. Hello, everyone. Welcome to AB EuropeCon 2021, hosted by Shandong Radio and Television Station. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the contest was held online. The Hong Kong University of Science and Technology by connecting venues from around the world through the internet, 21 teams from 11 countries and a region took part in this online competition. We can see the members are really excited. Even if the contest was online, the students' passion for robots wasn't lost. One of the teams participated before dawn due to a six-hour time difference with China. So early. Let's take a look at this year's contest rules. The theme is based on a traditional Chinese game called Tohu, a game in which arrows are thrown into various pots. Robots take on this challenge. The contest field is simplified for the online competition. The field is divided into two areas, the throwing area and the scoring area. Each team uses two robots, namely an Arrow Kid robot AR and Throwing Robot TR. Each game time is three minutes. TR and AR start from its respective start zone. This is the arrow rack. Five arrows are placed on the rack. There are four pairs a total of eight pots in red and blue with slightly different opening shapes arranged on the field. Robots try throwing arrows into those pots. TR must throw arrows from the throwing area. On the other hand, AR can move around the field freely. It can change the position of the pot. It can pick up a fallen arrow and pass it on to TR. And AR can also throw arrows into pots. Each team can use up to 20 arrows. Robots work together to throw arrows into pots. One point will be given for one arrow in a pot. Eight points will be given if an arrow gets into both the red and blue pots. If all the 20 arrows can be thrown into the pots, the team gets a perfect score of 80 points and the game ends. However, if there are numbers of teams with perfect scores, the faster team will win. The fastest of all will be the champion. Now, let's take a look at the actual competition. At the contest, each team performed twice. They competed based on the total result of the two performances. Here's the first round. This is the Mongolian University of Science and Technology. This is a playground. Yeah, right? a basketball court. Ready, go. Here we go! Their TR loads five arrows at once. Using its arm, TR shoots arrows at pots at a high pace. A speedy game development. 30 seconds. They achieved a perfect score of 80 points in a mere 41 seconds. Yeah, 80 points, they got it. Congratulations! Next up is the Japanese team of Nagaoka University of Technology. This is their first participation in the ABU Robocon. The arrows shoot from TR fly with beautiful trajectory. 
to the nearby pot. They rotate the arrow halfway and throw it from its wing part. What a unique strategy to shoot arrows upside down! Nagaoka achieved a perfect score of 80 points in 49 seconds. This is Institute Technology Sepulu no Pemper of Indonesia. Both AR and TR shoot arrows carefully one by one. They make sure to put it in each pot. They achieved a perfect score in only 40 seconds. Two teams took part from University Technology Malaysia. Team A completed all tasks in 37 seconds. Team B's time is 41 seconds. Both teams did well. A passionate team of Wuhan University of China. As soon as TR finished shooting arrows, it goes to reload new arrows. And without a break, TR and AR shoot arrows continuously at the same time. Wow! They recorded the fastest time of 31 seconds! How can they shoot arrows so accurately into all pots in such a short time? In fact, Wuhan University emphasized speed. Their aim was to win faster than any other teams. The mechanism of each robot was narrowed down to the bare minimum in order to reduce the robot's weight. Furthermore, by loading and ejecting at one place by two robots at the same time, it became possible to shoot arrows quickly and continuously. They aim to become the champion with the fastest time. And they created robots to make it happen. Now we move on to the second round. Who could foresee that the teams who did well in the first round struggle so much in the second round? Wow. Meanwhile, Institute Technology Sepulu no Pember of Indonesia, who was able to keep feeding arrows into the pots with stable and accurate movement until the end, became the champion. Indonesia won the ABU Robocon champion title for the first time. At the awards ceremony, students are finally relaxed after the heated competition. A moment filled with happiness, joy and accomplishment. The winner of the Best Idea Award is the Institute of Technology of Cambodia. The winner of the Best Engineering Award is Nagoka University of Technology. Congratulations! Design Award for excelling in design, decoration and function. The team is the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology from Hong Kong. Congratulations! Uh, Panasonic System Solution Japan Tokubet Show wa Malaysia, Malaysia Team A no Minasan des. おめでとうございます。ちょっと立ち遠さの特別賞は日本東京大学です。おめでとうございます。ババチモーター株式会社の特別賞は中国北京航空航天大学です。1回目は残念でしたけど、2回目は見事に立て直して満点を取っていただき
NOK の特別賞はタイランドのアトムアン工科大学で拾うと投げるの2つの機能のどちらも高精度の素晴らしい AR マシンでしたユニフォームもロボットの色とシンクロしててとってもかっこよかったです東京エレクトロン株式会社の特別賞はインドネシアジョグジャガルタ州立大学です一度に十本の矢を装填できる装備と二試合目残りゼロ秒でのグレートビクトリーには感動いたしましたバブルーズファイナルの受賞は。The ABU Robocon 2022 will be held in India. Robots will challenge the traditional game of India called Logori next time. We are looking forward to your ideas for new unique robots at the next ABU Robocon. See you soon in India!